The other question I was asked to work was number 89 on chapter 15. Caffeine is a weak base. It's giving us a pKb of 10.4. We're asked to calculate the pH of the solution containing a caffeine concentration of 490 milligrams per liter. What would the pH be? I'm going to need a fresh sheet of paper. Writing down some of the information, I just want to be able to cover this work so I have some room to work for the next problem. So number 58, caffeine is C8H10N4O2. When I place that into water, it acts as a base. Therefore, water will act as an acid. And if this particular problem, it really is not important that I know what the base is, we could just use a generic letter, let's say B for base. Bases are proton acceptors, acids are proton donors. When the base forms its conjugate, it will gain a proton, and water will form its conjugate base, hydroxide. This is the target that we need to find the pH. We need to solve for the concentration of hydroxide ions so then we can work it into a pH unit. They give us something called the pKb for caffeine is 10.4. Kb then would simply be 10 raised to the negative 10.4. So taking the negative log of Kb, I can get that uh, relationship there. One more thing that we know, we know that this is 490 milligrams per liter. Of course, when we set these up, we need to have molarity, moles per liter. So we have a little mole map work to do first. First of all, I'm going to convert my milligram into a gram. I need that in order to do mole map work. I know that there are 1,000 grams in every, I'm sorry, milligrams in every one gram. What that's allowing me to do then is just change the milligram into the gram unit. So 0 0.490 grams times, well I need this, uh, the gram unit I have now to be in a mole unit. So I need to convert into moles. I need a molar mass of C8H10N4O2. So I'm going to just grab my calculator and hit out for the molar mass. Carbon weighs 12, but there's 8 of them. Hydrogen is 1, and there's a total of 10 of those. Nitrogen is 14, and there's 4 of those. And oxygen weighs 16, and I count 2 of those. So the molar mass of caffeine, 194. So here's what we have going so far. Step 1, the milligrams canceled. Step two, the grams canceled, seeing how that is the molar mass of our caffeine. And now look what we've got, moles per liter, the very definition of big M, molarity. So we'll start by hitting 490 divided by 1,000. And again, that's just simply there to change milli into the unit gram. We're going to divide again by the molar mass of 194. And that gives us the molarity a 0 0.0025 molar units for our weak base called caffeine. So if this now has a value of 0 0.0025 molar, let's call the value of the conjugate acid X and the value of the conjugate base X. The Kb value is 10 to the negative 10.4. So that here is just the Kb. That will be set equal to the value of x times x. I'll write that as x squared over the concentration of the original caffeine, 0 0.0025 molar. When we solve for x, x is standing for the concentration of hydroxide. Let's get that part first. So. Clear screen, we get 10 raised to the negative 10.4. There's my Kb value on the screen. Cross multiply with 0 0.0025 molar. That's the value for x squared. Square root my answer. And the value of x, I'm finding 
3.15 times 10 to the negative seventh molar units on hydroxide. If I negative log that value, I get something called pOH, and of course 14 minus the pOH will be what we were asked to solve for, the pH of our solution. And it makes sense that we're, we're looking for a number higher than 7 so that it falls into the pH of a base. So let's go negative log of our answer, negative log of the hydroxide, gets us a pOH of 6.5. 14 minus that answer gives us a pH for caffeine, 7.498, maybe somewhere like 7.50 pH units.